just a slight little reflection. Now I'm going to just scan, start from the, the lower cervical, and just scan up the spine. And this is just a general scan right up the spine. So I'm just on the articular pillars, thumbs up, thumb on one side and a couple of fingers on the opposite side. And I go up from seven to about roughly uh, one. Right. And I'm going to stand behind the patient. I'm going to put my ring, chiral index and ring finger around the ears. Thumbs are up at the vertex of the head. I'm going to rotate the patient's head. Put a little bit of ipsilateral lateral flexion. And I'm just going to glide the patient's head forward. Right? I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And glide the patient's head forward. Right? So that's our general skin in the cervical or occiput area. And if we were going to do a cervical spine, so anywhere from C2 to C7, which is take the mid cervical, right? I'm going to do my P to A sagittal glide. So I'm going to just take a little tissue pull first. And I'm, this adds a little pressure from the anterior to post here. This is going to go from post to the anterior and from I to S. And I'm just going to scan for a P to A sagittal glide, right? Isolating that one level. Just like we did with our whole skin, and now I'm just hitting that one level. And I'm going to add a little tissue pull from I to S. And I'm going to put some flexion to I feel where he's going to move with my fingers. Then I'm going to spring P to A, I to S for flexion. Put him back to neutral. Same thing, a little tissue pull. Bring him back into extension. Spring P to A, I to S. Okay. And I'm going to do a left rotation, so my uh, index, chiral index on the right side of the pillar, thumb is just resting on the left side. As I rotate the patient's head to the left, move my body around, and I spring with my index and chiral index, P to A, a little bit of I to S direction. On the right side? On the right side, which creates left rotation. Mm -hmm. Then, I can take either an index contact, get on the anterior portion of the articular pillar, take some tissue pull, rotate the patient's head to the right, and now with my index, I'm going to spring from anterior to posterior. Right? For right rotation? That'd be, he's, well, he's going to right rotation, but I'm now pushing everything from anterior to posterior this direction. But that would be right rotation because then you would do the same thing on the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to have to do it on the other okay. side. Okay, all right. Or instead of doing this contact with an index, I could take my thumb, get on the side of the spinous on the right side, rotate the head towards the right, and using my thumb on the spinous, push the spinous, or I guess you could say from medial to lateral, or pushing it towards the left side. Is now pushing everything from anterior to posterior on this side is using a spinous as the lever. Right? And then I can take my index contact, get on the side of the uh, pillars, laterally flex the patient's head towards my contact, and then with my contact hand spring from lateral to medial. And there's a little bit of so you say a little bit of S to I, but primary movement lateral to medial. And of course, I can do everything on the other side, you know, like the rotation, lateral flexion. All right, so then do you we also need... gap, gap the joint, right, with the flexion uh, on the other side? No, for lateral flexion, we, we're just laterally flexing. Okay, and then you don't flex them the other side? No, that's what? when we get up into the octopus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you could, if you want, you could use your fingers here. Laterally flex and just push with your fingers. You can do that too. I just, I just happen to use an index contact, but you can use your fingers too. All right, so then we can go, say we're going to go to C1, C2. And we concentrated primarily on lateral flexion, P to A, and A to P rotation. So if we find the mastoid process, if I drop down off the mastoid, it puts me on the transversal 1. Take my chiral index goes on the transverse of two. My thumb rests on the opposite side. So if I laterally flex the patient towards my contact, 
Now with my index contact, I spring from lateral to medial, so I'm springing towards me. Right? On the transverse of one in relation to two. Then what I can do is I can get it on the transverse again of one, transverse again of two. I'm going to take this finger here, my index, raise it up, take a little tissue pull from posterior to anterior. I'm going to then rotate the patient's head towards the left, and with my index, I'm going to spring P to A. I'm on the back of the transverse process of one spring. Uh, now I can do the same thing. Fingers are on the transverse. I can take a little tissue pull from anterior to posterior, rotate the patient's head the other way, and now with my chiral index, or not my chiral index, my index, pull on transverse on one. We have to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, then we can go up to the occiput. So I'm going to use this kind of a grip here. We can grab a whole mastoid posterior occiput. Just grab this meaty part here. I'm going to flex the patient's head forward, and then mostly with my thumb, and this index just kind of puts a little support. I'm going to spring P to A. Right, that would be flexion of the occiput. I'm going to bring the patient to extension. Again, mostly with my thumb, I'm going to spring into extension. Right. And I can keep my hand in the same direction. I can rotate the patient towards the left and then spring, mostly again with my thumb, spring P to A. And I can keep my hand in the same direction. I can rotate the patient's head towards the other side. And now using more of my index, that's bent, my so here, pull A to P. Right? And then I can find the mastoid process, my index, come down to the transverse of one of my chiral index. I'm going to laterally flex towards that side, and then with my index, I'm springing down on the mastoid. And then I go ahead and Pull, spring, or just not spring, but laterally flex the way and feel the, the, the area gapping open. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with all this. All right, so that's our palpation.